better late than never. Here's your Sunday night Griff football week six highlights between the Gas House Gorillas and Taka Drivers. A very much anticipated matchup between the two squads as they were tied atop the GBL entering week six with three decisions ahead of them. And this week would be dominated by all Gas House as in the makeup game with the Taka Drivers threatening with a guy on first and second. No outs. Jim Tucker enters the game, gets Jackson Buzia to strike out there. And then he gets Ryan Voges to strike out as well. Ending any sort of comeback bid as the Gas House Gorillas take the makeup game 6-4 to four and take a one-game lead over Taka. And then starting game number one, we're going to enter the top of the second after a single by Jim Tucker. Radishek sends one in the right. That ball is long gone for a two-run shot. Make it 2 to nothing, Gas House. And right after that, get Homer Happy Gas House after a single by Radishek and a walk by Jim Tucker sets up. Ryan Gallagher, they hit one off the backboard, and then the GBL, that's a home run. Make it 5 nothing. Gas House Gorillas, as Ryan Vogus continued the struggle. As in the next batter, Jeremy Radishak, as the Gas House Gorillas have done much in the past. Back-to-back, -back Jacks! Make it 6 nothing, kids. As the Gas House Gorillas give Jim Tucker a 6 nothing lead, as that's all he would need, because... He has been dominating the Taka drivers in the past as their strikeout from Bogus. Strikeout at Bartley. He pitched three innings with five Ks, only walked one, and only gave up one hit. As he continues to dominate the Taka drivers as they cannot figure out Jim Tucker. Their strikeout number three for him. And then here it goes again with another strikeout. Make it number four. Sooner or later, they're going to have to figure him out. But in week six, Jim Tucker did it again. There's the fifth strikeout as they could not figure him out. And then we're going to go to the top of the fourth. Some defense from the Taka drivers trying to keep it 6 nothing. Ryan Vogas ranges all the way to his right into left field and steals a single from Radishak. Wish there was a better angle for that. And then at the bottom of the fifth, Taka driver's not done yet. Chris Bartley singles there. And then the very next batter, Jackson Bazia, number five off of Jeremy Radishak, is going to send one into the atmosphere in right center. Make it six to two. Here comes the comeback. Whew, here we go. And then continuing the bottom of the fifth, the very next batter, three batters. Look at that one. Just find its way around Radishak for a single. I don't know what ball they use, but I'm pretty sure. That was a regulation griffle ball as Vogus singles and continues to keep the rally going. The next batter after that, Chris Bartley. There's going to be a power outage. Boom! Going over the tree and left. Six to four. And then Radishak in trouble after a single and a walk. Radishak exits for Ryan Gallagher with the same situation as in the makeup game. Gets Chris Bartley to strike out there. And then gets Jackson Bazia to pop up. Frustrations boiling over for the Taka Drivers as the Gas House Gorillas take another 6-4 to four victory over the Taka Drivers. I swear, it wasn't the same game. They were two different games. It's just oddly similar from the makeup game. So, with a two-game lead, the Taka Drivers definitely needed game number two. And they came out on fire in their Taka Black jerseys to lead off the bottom of the first after a double and a single. Bartley singles to give the Taka Drivers a 1-0 lead. And then the next batter right after that brings in the guy from third. Jackson Bazia makes it 2 to nothing with a single as Ryan Gallagher trying to make a play on it. And it falls over to his left. Make it 2 nothing Taka. And then every batter reached base in the inning. Chris Bartley singles, almost had the distance, could have been big, might have won the game for them in the first. But every batter reached base in the inning. And then, with trouble, bases loaded, down three to nothing. Buzz hits one, Radishek over the shoulder, catch! Buzz not happy, and that bat looks kind of crooked. Yeah, definitely crooked. Look at Ryan Vogas' face. Has, yeah, that bat's not going to work anymore. And then... Rat doubles here in the top of the third after a walk to keep the inning alive with one out. 
And then setting up a big moment for Jim Tucker. Down three to nothing in the top of the third. Tucker. See ya! It's gone! Make it three to three! As Jim Tucker ties the game in the top of the third. And then with problems looming, trying to get out of the inning, Chris Bartley makes the last out of the inning, tied 3-3. Three three. Look at the range by Chris Bartley in foul territory. And we're going to go to, to the fourth inning, 3-3. Three three. A little fun here. Look at Radishak. Stop it. Don't dance. I mean, he must have been happy that Gas House Grills were winning. And then in the top of the fifth, Ryan Vogus playing some defense to keep it alive. One-handed grab going to his left in the right field. Gold hands, maybe? Possibly? And then, as these two teams always do, go to extra innings. We're in the top of the seventh. Radishak, another home run. Breaks the tie. Four to three. Gas House. And then, the Taka drivers have one chance left. Don't get much done. Radishak struck out seven and gets Bartley to pop out here. And the Gas House Gorillas bring the brooms for week six as they win this game at seven, four to three, and take a commanding three game lead over Taka. What a week it was for the Gas House Gorillas as the Taka drivers have to figure it out in the next week. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And whiffle out.